<laughs> it's amazing, bro. It just feels awesome. I can't explain it. We want the best for you too. Give it a shot. You won't regret it. Jesus said it's done to them. No, I'm not hitting it. God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. This man right back here is dying of a drug overdose right there on the street. God is trying to send me a message. <laughs>
Hello everybody, we are here at the Bill Street Blast, the 22nd annual Bill Street Blast. And uh, I w actually didn't even realize I went to the first one and the second one years ago. Well, here we are at the last one. And uh, it's street preaching. We go out on the Bill Street in downtown Memphis and preach on the street. And it's called Banners Unfurled because we carry banners and we'll show you the banners later. And this is the, the shirt that we'll be wearing. And look at the back there, isn't that cool? That drawing. And some of the actual banners that we hold up are drawings by Peter Ruckman. So we're here at Gateway Baptist Church here in Tennessee. And uh, so far we've been hearing some great preaching last night and um, this morning. And later today we're going to go out on the street. And I can't wait because we'll, we'll probably 50 to 100 of us. And we'll be carrying banners and passing out tracks and preaching on the street corner. And just... Uh, Trying to stand up for Jesus, amen, in a world that's insane and in darkness and wicked. We're trying to do something for the Lord and to be a light, amen, in the darkness. So this is awesome and I'm really enjoying being here. And the thing that's been a blessing to me is to see how many people that, I, that I've seen 20, 30 years ago and I preached for. And a lot of these men don't realize it, but they're mentors to me. They really are. And I love them. And I'm not an emotional person, but I just feel myself getting emotional because... Every time I see them, I smile real big, and they smile real big, and it's just, this must be what heaven is like. We just look at other brothers, just smile, to say, ain't it great to be saved? That's what it's all about. So this is where we are, and if the Lord hasn't come back next year, maybe you guys could come. We pray, God, that you would be all over what we do tonight, and just guide, lead, and direct our paths, help us to be what we should be, and Lord, just send us the sinners that are ready to be saved. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're about to go, and this is the bus that takes us out to Beale Street. And look at here. You need to be repentant when you go out and preach on the street corner. Amen. And then come look at this. Look at these crazy fanatics with all their graffiti. Amen. But that's cool. All right, here we go. down Bill Street like this. Street preaching works, amen. So it kind of reminds me of Fremont Street in Las Vegas where we went before. But this is the downtown. Look at all the sin, I mean the people. <laughs> but they need Jesus, amen. People need the Lord. So here we go and uh, we're about to introduce them to Jesus. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is awesome. This is awesome. Well, this is Beale Street, and uh, people say, what are you doing out there? You don't need to go out there. Well, you go where the centers are, and in the darkness, that's when you need the most light. So that's the idea. So we're out here where the darkest darkness is, so we can show in the brightest of all lights. Amen? So well, look at these artificial lights. How you feeling, Rob? I'm feeling good. This is fun. Absolutely free. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at it.
I'm on the ground. Good job, good job. What was this about Jesus? What he did for you? Can you take one and read it? Can you take one and read it? It's fine. Where are you? Why don't you lay it? Why don't they hold 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 it? Christ of Latter Day Saints book. No. Huh? Is it Baptist? Oh, a witness? It's original Christianity. Uh, I'm going to read it. All right. I got three of them. All right. Between up there to here, I got three books. All right. You got one. All right. So, hold on now. Two. God is trying to send me a message. So, whatever the message is, it, to me, it doesn't matter what the faith it comes from. It's a message. And, and I want it. All they're thinking about is worldly, sinful, wicked stuff. They ought to be thinking about Jesus in heaven. Because they can drop off into hell tonight. And this will be their last memory. We walked through here, we smelled urine, we smelled beer, we smelled marijuana. We smelled the smell of wickedness. And we heard the cries of the damned. And we tried to give them the gospel. Some of them accepted these tracks, others rejected them. I hope they get saved. These are the better tracks here that I like to hand out. But it's all about the blood that can wash their sin away. I hope these people wake up in the morning and think about Jesus. While I was out here, I don't know if the Lord put this in my mouth or what, but I said, please remember Jesus because he remembered you. And that just came out of my mouth, and I said that to most everybody, especially if they didn't take a track. I said, remember Jesus because he remembered you. And they kind of went, okay. So hopefully they'll remember that. They'll go through their head over and over. Remember Jesus, because he remembered you when he died on the cross for your sin. Jesus That would be me. That's me, Robert Breaker. Way back then. Free beard. I don't remember if it was 1999 or 2000 was the first one, but I remember going to the first two. And what a blessing it was. I remember seeing a lot of men there that, that I knew. And uh, it was a great experience. I just remember being very young. It was quite exciting. I remember it being darker there too than, than when we went. I think we went a little later at night. 
but it was fun and uh, a lot more people back then but uh, it was like a parade like a christian parade down the middle of the street where everyone goes to get drunk and it was just singing hymns for jesus amen trying to reach sinners it sure was a blast, that's for sure. I yeah. remember it. A lot of fun. This is where we went down to the river. And the musicians that want you enslaved of the Jesus. Hey, him on national TV in the Midwest. I died for your sins according to the scripture. You want me to get it? I'm going to hell. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. Twas and what is to come, the Almighty, Prince of Peace, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Amen. Though he was rich, yet for your sakes he yeah. became poor, right. that ye through his poverty might be rich. Amen. The Bible says that the Lord has not slept, but some his promise, and some men can't slept. But as long as I'm not willing that he is all God to repent, the Bible says that God will love the world. <laughs> In Memphis, even the police street parade. Yeah. Did you hear that? I, I stopped the police. He said, I think I will take that. The next one comes by, it's more police. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. That was great. Welcome to the Bible. The Bible called the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Come and get saved. The Bible says that God commended his love towards us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. She to shed his blood for you on that cross. The Bible says that it's through faith in the blood that you can receive the free gift of eternal life. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. So I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God and the salvation. And it's the blood of Jesus that's the power of the gospel. Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Only Jesus saves. Hell is hot. Hell is real. And you'll be there someday if you reject Jesus Christ. Did you know if you don't accept Him, you are rejecting Him? Thank God He didn't reject us. Thank God He didn't look down on this earth and say, I'll just let Him go to hell. Thank God He came and He lived here on this earth 33 years. 
And then he died for you. And you were on his mind. And you were on his mind. He thought of you when he died on the cross. He wants you to go to heaven. He wants the most vilest sinner to come to repentance. That's right. He wants you to come to Him and live with Him for all eternity. What will you do with Jesus? Why would you turn Him away? Oh, such great love! For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son for you, sir. God said, for you, He died. God says to you, come out of the floor of Babylon. You're not in the world. You are. She's got seven hills. And you're inside of her. Come out, my baby. Or will you be left behind? Hey, sir, up on the bridge, do you know Jesus? Have you come to him for salvation? Do you know that he died in your place for your sins? Life is short. Death is sure. Sin the curse. But Christ the cure. Come to Jesus Christ for salvation. There's nothing more important than salvation and Jesus Christ. There's nothing here on Beale Street that's any better than Jesus Christ. He wants to save your soul. He wants you to go to heaven with Him. Now, whosoever will, let him come and drink of the water of life freely. Come to Jesus Christ for salvation. Only Jesus saves. There's no salvation in a church. There's no salvation in water baptism. There's no salvation in the Pope. There's no salvation in religion. Salvation is only through Jesus Christ who died on the cross for your sins. Where we you spend eternity? Heaven or hell? Smoking or non-smoking? A lot of people say, oh, you're out there trying to yell at people, you're pushing people away, you don't care about people. None of that's true. We care about people. This man right back here is dying of a drug overdose right there on the street. If we could have reached him and won him to the Lord before he died, I hope he makes it. We'll be praying for him, that he has one more chance to accept Jesus Christ. It's time to do some street preaching. What a way to go in the street. Well, he rejected that close track. to the truth. Yeah. Pray God give him one more chance. Okay. He's barely there, and so just pray that. No, he looks like an older guy, but I mean, pray that he doesn't die. You can live up in the body forever. Oh, yeah, bro. The pornography, we gotta tell the world. Yeah. If we, it would be easier for me to die than deny Jesus. I'm on fire for the Lord Jesus. This feels awesome. I can't explain it. We want the best for you too, bro. Give it a shot. You won't regret it. I'm exhausted. 
the wind was the hardest part holding that back at four my arm hurts again but the best part was coming back alone going through the middle and it's, I'm, I'm saying when he was on the cross you were on his mind I was pointing at people that should have been you that died on that cross but he did it for you what love how much he loved you to die for you so that was fun and then we come to these bunch of Hebrew Israelites and all they want to do is argue and say Jesus was black and I yelled, I don't care what color he is, he's still my savior and he can still save your soul. You know, that was fun. So, amen. Titus 3.9. But we got to get because we want to drive across the state to go to church on Sunday in a cool church. So, we got to get early. Otherwise, we'd be here out here at night. But we're going to head on other and meet some other brothers. I already met a bunch, right? Amen, brother. In Oklahoma, I'm going to see him again when I visit my mom. I'm going to go to his church, hopefully. So, this is a blessing. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And hopefully, if the Lord tarries, I hope He does. Maybe you can come next week, or next, excuse me, next year, and uh, be here with us, passing out tracks. I like putting this track right here. It says "Justified." Amen. Justified. Never seen. for the blood the only thing he cared to see was the blood of Christ amen because that's what that blood was a type of when I see the blood I will pass over you has the blood been applied is it upon your soul is the blood written in your heart do you have faith in the blood of Christ oh preacher I do and also know all souls my faith is in nothing but Christ and his shed blood and that's the only way you'll ever be justified.